Hallowed be your name on earth as in heaven. Kia tapu to inua, ki runga ki te whenua, ki arite anō ki tō te rangi. Always be joyful, pray continually, give thanks whatever happens. Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on Monday. On this day the church remembers Ini Kopuria, founder of the Melanesian Brotherhood. Ini Kopuria was the founder of the Melanesian Brotherhood, an indigenous evangelistic order. He was born on Guadalacanal about 1900 and after a religious experience in 1924, formed the Brotherhood. The brothers took temporary vows not to marry, not to take payment for their work and to obey their leaders. Under Innie's gifted leadership, the order became one of the most significant evangelistic movements of Melanesia. Innie left the order in 1940 in the early stages of the war and like many others became unsettled. He contracted an illness from which he eventually died on this day, the 6th of June, 1945. And so our sentence and collect for today. The Lord is my strength and my defence and has become my deliverer. God of all tribes, islands and nations. You called your servant Ini Kopuria to take the light of Christ to those who lived in darkness. Inspire our hearts with the same love of you, so that we may become faithful messengers of your gospel and in word and action, share the good news of salvation with all people. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear Jesus' words. When you do a kindness, hide from your left hand what your right is doing. Your good deed must be secret. When you pray, pray privately alone. When you fast, don't make a show of it. Don't do it to be seen, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Would any of you who are parents give your children a wetter when asked for a fish? Bad as you are, you know what to give your children. How much more will the Heavenly Father give to those who ask? Believe what Jesus says, God, God is, is generous, generous. God, God is, is good. Etefano, let us love one another, because love is from God. We love because God loved us first, and everyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. If we do not love the people we have seen, it cannot be that we love God, whom we have not seen. God is love. Those who dwell in love are dwelling in God and God in them. Today's reading is taken from Luke, Luke chapter 10, beginning at verse 1. The Mission of the Seventy. After this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the labourers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out labourers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter first, say, peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person but if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the labourer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick who are there, and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. So we hold a moment of silence to reflect on what it means for God's kingdom to come near to us this day.
we continue in a time of intercession. Lord, as we rejoice in the coming of the Spirit, we give thanks for all who proclaim your presence and your power. We remember the Melanesian Brotherhood, all preachers and evangelists, all who celebrate the sacraments and minister to us. And we give thanks, Lord, for your church, your people whom you have breathed upon with your life-giving spirit. Would you inspire us to share your good news with those around us this week? May all your people share fully in forwarding the gospel and revealing your love. We give thanks, Lord, for the great gifts and talents that you give to your people. And we ask your blessing and guidance on all leaders of nations and peoples. All those whose decisions affect the lives of others. We pray, Lord, for a sense of your perfect peace, your justice and your mercy to pervade those who work in government and those who work in governmental agencies around this cathedral building. And further afield, Lord, we ask that the leaders of the nations would walk in the footsteps of your Son, Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. We give thanks for our homes and loved ones and ask that you would help us to be aware of the quiet sacrifice of love that is often given unheeded. We thank you for our parents, for all they have done for us and for all those who have been benefactors in our lives. We ask your blessing on all who suffer from violence or neglect in their homes, all who are discouraged and disheartened by their surroundings, and any who lack a good example to follow. We give thanks, Lord, on this day where we have a public holiday to celebrate Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee. We give thanks for all who have served the world in their vocation. We pray for all kings and queens, princes, princesses and rulers. We ask your blessing and guidance upon all who hold these positions among us. And we pray for the Commonwealth of Nations. For all who quietly give themselves in the service of the community in which they live, would you bring your blessing today? And we give thanks, Lord, for the saints who have triumphed through suffering, for the Melanesian Brotherhood, and those who reveal your glory despite their own persecution and pain. We ask your blessing upon all who are struggling at this time. And we remember those caught up in violence, drugs or crime and cannot find a way out. We pray for victims of terrorism and war, remembering stateless and homeless people. And we bring before you our friends, and loved ones who are ill this day and ask for your healing power to flow through them and those who care for them. As we remember our friends and loved ones who are departed from us, we ask that they may know your love in eternal life. And we rejoice in the fellowship of all your saints and pray that we may share with them in your eternal kingdom. Would you bring your comfort and your peace to all those who grieve this day? Our Father, hallowed be your name on earth as in heaven. E tomato matua, kia tapu to ingoa. Ki runga ki te whenua, ki arite anō ki tō te rangi. Holy One, 
holy and eternal, awesome, exciting and delightful in your holiness. Make us pure in heart to see you. Make us merciful to receive your kindness and to share our love with all your human family. Then will your name be hallowed on earth as it is in heaven. Lord God, when you give to us your servants any great matter to do, grant us also to know that it is not the beginning, but the continuing of it, until it is thoroughly finished, which yields the true glory. God of work and rest and pleasure, grant that what we do this week may be for us an offering rather than a burden, and for those we serve, may it be the help that they need. Amen. Amen. 